Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a quick review of the Plastic Soldier uh, German Panzer III 15 mm uh, vehicles. Uh, and I'm really thinking they're a decent kit. Uh, the big selling point for me was that they were a plastic kit when they didn't have plastic kits for the Panzer III's previously. And I also really like the fact that it's about half the price point of a um, you know the the regular Flames of War uh, Battlefront miniatures Panzer threes. Now um, you know for the packaging, it's uh, it's a little bit different. I actually kind of like the fact that they've got this you know illustration up there, so it gives you a concept of how you would paint it or how it would look. Uh, you know, just kind of you know some of the extra details and stuff that they've got on here. And I've actually duplicated this a little bit as I went through. Um, it is uh, it's got the finest quality, which is assured by the seal up top. Very important. And there is some assembly required, as we can see here at the bottom. Um, now these kits do require require a little bit more assembly obviously than the, than the resin kits and most of the battlefront kits uh, have far less in the way of pieces but uh, I'll talk about that when we look at the instructions in a minute here. Uh, looking at the box again, uh, you know, it's a good sized box. I do like the artistic elements at the front, kind of giving you the mood and the atmosphere uh, for what's going on. Uh, obviously, the Plastic Soldier logo, they're trying to, uh, you know, kind of stand out from what some of the other manufacturers. And um, I actually really uh, think it's not a bad set of packaging. Uh, that price is in Canadian dollars, $30.99, uh, which isn't bad. Um, but I'm also liking the fact that they kind of break down a very basic, basic painting uh, element here, and they show what uh, pieces you should go through the trouble of painting on your on your tank. So um, not too bad there at all. Um, they actually give the Vallejo colors uh, in here, which is which is kind of nice as opposed to just being a name. So it gives you a little bit more um, gives you a little bit more uh, kind of direct uh, influence on the colors that you're picking there. So not bad, not bad at all. Now opening up the box, now I have assembled these tanks already, but I just want to show you some of the, the sprue elements here. Um, you know, the sprues, they all come complete. There's no, uh, each one is a tank, which is great. Uh, and you'll see that they're all cut up here uh, because I got the tanks all done. Uh, but there's lots of little bits that were kind of left over. And we're going to see that in a second here, why. Uh, so they've got all the different variants. Um, it's a nice, you know, kind of tight sprue that's in there. Different wheel sections for the different tank versions, which is neat. Uh, different barrels and, of course, the different commanders. Now, the reason I'm going uh, kind of out of order here, and um, you know, I've assembled them all together already, but I just wanted to show my one big criticism here is in the backs uh, of the drivers. They've actually got holes uh, from the casting, so I'm going to have to fill those in. Kind of a bummer in the sense that, I mean, they can pull off these little jerry cans here, uh, but... Um, you know, it'd be uh, it'd be nice if they were a little more complete in terms of the casting. But again, the value of these guys is is pretty darn solid. So, moving on from that, as I put the brush in my mouth here, uh, I've got all five of the tanks assembled, and I'm actually thinking they're really good kits. Now, the pieces that you need to put together the tread, it's a little crazy. There's um, there's about uh, six pieces here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six pieces just to do up each individual tread. And it took uh, a little bit of time to put together. I think they're suffering a little bit from the symptoms of it being a scaled down model kit from a larger model. Um, but the end result is is quite nice. Uh, the treads only fit on a certain way. So make sure, make sure, make sure you dry fit before you put them on. And when you're putting the wheels in, there's actually a squared off piece on each of the the kind of the, the ports, the little receivers here. And there's kind of a squared off piece on the rounded, uh, uh, you know, post of the of the wheels here. So make sure you line those up and you won't have any problems. I actually ended up initially going through and saying, wow, these don't fit well. And uh, I ended up cutting some of these on one of the first tank until I figured out, oh yeah, there is, there is actually a slot in there. So uh, definitely worthwhile. Um, but the big attraction to this kit, and I'm thinking it's pretty solid, is these really well set up instructions here. I'll just go to the other cam real quick. So the, the setup, the instructions here is, is really, really cool. So they've got the different versions of the tanks. Uh, there's no short barrels in here, but you could very easily just cut uh, one of the barrels off, and it would be a very good short barreled uh, version of the Panzer III. 
but I love the fact that we've got all three different uh, versions in here. And as a matter of fact, um, jumping around a little bit more again, uh, if we look at the box itself, as I close this off, if we look at the box itself, it's actually got... Um, if you're putting it up on your shelf, it's actually got the breakdown of the picture, but in very clear detail what's included in the box. So great for the shelf and very cool for um, for the, for your shelf as well. So anyway, so uh, what I've opted to do with this guy here was I just went with the middle version. I wanted to be able to do up armored uh, tanks, so I went with the middle version, the Osif G, uh, and um, you know you can just pull all the different appropriate. Uh, pieces to make this uh, make this tank make it a thing so love the color coding in there which is great and if you go you know to the rest of the instructions uh, they're actually quite nice uh, and uh, it is putting together a model kit I will be absolutely clear with that um, but I think the end result is is really really decent especially since it's about half the price of the regular battlefront minis so Okay, so let's take a look at the tanks themselves. Uh, I've got, the way I kind of configured these up, I've got uh, essentially my, uh, my command unit here. So he'll be a single or a double, right? And that leaves me my options to go with, uh, uh, you know, the actual platoon itself. So I can actually have a small platoon of tanks uh, based off of that with an HQ in there as well, which is cool. So I went for this guy, to essentially be the sub commander, okay, and this guy up here to be the the one I see the the, the lieutenant in charge of the whole uh, the whole show. Uh, otherwise, if I wanted to field them as a as a kind of a whole five sum here, uh, then I would just say this guy is the commander and this guy is just one of the the other guys popping his head up taking a look. So either way, it gives me a little bit of flexibility. I get to use both of the poses and get that little bit of originality, which will be which will be pretty sweet, I think, in in, in my case here. Now, the other thing that you get loads of with this kit is you get lots of stowage and bits and pieces. So in addition to the cupolas and, uh, you know, having the, having the kind of the, the hatches opened up here or the hatches closed, um, I'm also loving the fact that we've got loads of gear that we can put through. Now, it's not a ton. Uh, you'll see here that I've got um, on my commander's tank, I've got uh, kind of a box up front here uh, and on the back I left it blank. Uh, on this guy here, I did the, the backs where I did the wheels at the back, whereas I did them at the front end here. Uh, I did the jerry cans at front on this guy and the box on the back. And then this one here, I just did the uh, the jerry cans at the back. So um, pretty pretty happy with, you know, that little bit of shuffling. I don't want them to be too different. I don't want them over gacked up with, with tons of stuff. But uh, the detail on the kits is pretty pretty solid. The turrets themselves, again, were a little bit of work to uh, to put together, but um, I thought they, you know, they, they turned out uh, pretty nicely as well. Uh, you can see that they can rotate, but they're not, you know, they're not uh, super loose, but they kind of fit just nice, which is great. Uh, the detail on the hulls themselves are, uh, are are quite cool as well. Lots of little uh, greebly bits and you know shovels and spades and hammers. Now there's not you know there's not a lot of big detail in here, but uh, again you're just going to cover that with a with a color and then uh, you know do your painting and dry brushing and all that. Uh, painting 15 mils is a constant exercise in in dry brushing. Uh, they've even got a little smidgen of detail on the bottom if you want to flip your tanks over when they're uh, all blowed up. So. Um, just in general, I'm liking the aesthetic of the tanks. I mean, I think they're really sweet looking tanks. Um, sitting up on my shelf, I, uh, you know, you look at them as they're kind of, you know, if you stagger them all out, they look like, you know, tanks in formation. And even from the sides or the bottoms, they look, they look, you know, fairly decent and fun, but that's more of a reflection of the tank itself. Um, but I think it's just a nice, you know, kind of look and feel. They're a good size. Uh, and again, they're all to scale, but very much a model kit of the uh, Panzer threes. So uh, big thumbs up, really enjoying them. Again, the cost was essentially half of what you would pay uh, for the Battlefront ones. And uh, I'm really liking them. I think, uh, I think you know, there's, there's, there's lots of opportunity here. Uh, and the plan ultimately is to get these guys and then mix them with maybe, if, if I had to sprinkle in a couple more, you know, some of the older resin Panzer threes or uh, even getting some of the new plastic kits. But I am always pushing for variety. 
variety. So I might just, I, you know, I got some flexibility with the command and the, um, you know, the actual platoon of tanks itself. Yeah, I might just stick with these and then just fill it out with, uh, you know, with, with some additional units of a different type, maybe just to kind of, you know, I'm not a big fan of spamming stuff. So, so there it is. Um, that is my quick and dirty review. Uh, very much uh, liking the models themselves and uh, going to be a ton of fun to paint these up. Uh, we'll probably do just a quick painting tutorial on how I approach vehicles and maybe some infantry. Uh, that'll be in the future. I got a couple more... Uh, couple more things to work on, but I will be doing some painting on these guys as we go. And I'd like to also do a review of the eight rads that I've got going. Uh, they're almost done now, uh, but uh, those those little armored cars are pretty sweet looking as well. So I just want to say thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked the video, obviously hit that like button. Uh, if you want more videos like this, feel free to uh, you know jump on that subscribe button and uh, you get notifications of all of our future videos. Uh, if you really want notifications on your devices, grab that little bell there and uh, then it'll just broadcast out to everything you got going on <laughs> uh, when we're do doing a, a, a live stream or when we publish a new video. So uh, big thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope it was of value and we'll catch you in the next video.